Absolutely. Let's, let's talk telehealth briefly um, in that, you know, it does drive down the cost, of, it increases access. We know all these things are true. There's a change that needs to go on in, um, in our culture for people to think telehealth before, uh, before anything else. But there's, there's also regulatory barriers to that as well. I mean, we could see Jersey, if I got up on top of this building, maybe not this building, but the building next to it, um, I could probably see Jersey from here. Can you reach into Jersey yet, or we still have those state regulatory boundaries that are, are slowing us down? I mean, I, look, I, th I think it's a combination of state regulatory boundaries and the, and the guild mentality of physicians that's killing us. I mean, it's just killing us. So the, the answer to your question is that I can practice in New Jersey, I can practice in 48 states in this country, but I can't do telehealth. And, and, and the example I gave at Becker's is, it'd be like, if we started ATMs, and every state you needed a different card, it probably wouldn't have taken off the way that it did. Right. So, so we, you know, we create our own problems literally by, 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 by doing that. Look, you know, telehealth is not the end all and be all, but, but it's a little bit like what you said about the cloud. I don't think it is consumers that are reticent to use it. It's the doctors and the organizations that, that, that are saying, you look, you can use telehealth. It's not like seeing your, your real doctor. Uh, one example, since we're so into this, our head, our head of uh, Jeff Connect, a guy named Judd Hollander, who's an emergency medicine physician, he was getting criticized. He says, well, you know, well, ask me this doctor, answer me this doctor, Hollander, are you actually going to be able to diagnose an appendicitis by telehealth? And he said, well, actually, let's try that. And he went through this thing where, you know, um, so Mrs. Jones, where's your pain? Okay, it's, it's right on my left side. Mr. Jones, could you please press on that? Does that hurt? Yeah. When you let go, does it hurt more or less? Less. They don't have a ruptured appendix. That's all we do in the ER. You know, and then he went, okay, now that we know you don't have a ruptured appendix, could you do three jumping jacks? You know, okay, the three jumping jacks. I can see you tomorrow morning. Honestly, other than unnecessary tests, that's what we do in the ER. So this whole model of everything we do is genius because my hands are magic and we can't do that in telehealth. So knowing what you can do telewise, knowing what you can't, just like with retail, what things do I want to go to Target for or what things can I order on eTarget become really important. 